Okay. Woke up to a good day. Morning, good. Morning, good. Feel pretty good. Feel really good, actually. Uh, which I'm obviously happy about. The last couple of days have kind of just felt like I have a friend of mine who who tells me he's, he suffers from depression, another pastor, and he says that it affects him. Um, there's a feeling of dread. Like dread. That's a good word. Like there's this, there's this uh, impending disaster or dread. It's kind of right out of the edges of your vision. In the last couple of days, even though I haven't felt terrible, I just had this kind of dread on the edges of my thinking, and it's not been enjoyable. Uh, but we've gotten back into routine here. That's good. It feels good now. Feels good now. You feel good. Mm -hmm. um, and we're looking at Doctor Demar. Doctor Demar. What did you say this morning about the hope about this test? We're going to uh, check on this uh, testosterone thing. Going to go see a urologist tomorrow. Uh, I think you prayed that. Nice if this was just this is the answer. if this is the answer after all the stuff that we've been through, mm -hmm. and I think it's part of the answer, but I don't think it's the whole answer. I think there's too much that has happened for too long for it to just be, oh, just go get a shot, take a pill. I mean, all that has never has never worked, mm -hmm. and uh, and I I don't want to put my hope in that. Uh, because I think it's a much more complex issue than that. I think it, health is part of it. Physical health is part of it. So, anything you want to add? No, I remember what you said now. You said, I hope it is just that. Yeah, I hope it is just this simple. And you, and you actually said, that, not that you hope it is, you said, you have you have the hope that that is exactly what it is. Isn't that what you said? Mm -hmm. So, all right. But we'll see. That's tomorrow, and uh, today so far is a good day. Mm -hmm. Enjoying today, and uh, yeah, that's it. It's good. It's good. It's good. This is <clears throat> day 49. I wanted to finish up that thought about dread because that is a very good explanation. There's a dread. I just kind of was reminded of when I was in the Navy, I used to think about, um, I would always have like deployments hanging over my head. In between deployments, I wouldn't even think about them. And, uh, I would think I would be dreading I would be dreading the coming deployment having to the separation be away from my wife and my kids and um, that sense of dread would would sometimes be debilitating it would be so strong that I would feel like I didn't even want to get out of bed or or go anywhere or do anything I just I wonder if there's other people who deal with that sense of dread uh, also, because I think that's a big part of this, uh, depression and anxiety, and, uh, and dread, <clears throat> dread of the future, and then regret over the past. Um, I think that's one of the most wicked things about depression and bipolar depression and anxiety, I guess that's what it is. You know? have anxiety or depression um, but um, today I woke up and that sense of dread it just left me it's just not there um, I've, I've learned enough now to know that I don't make it go away and that its presence its presence is real um, and its absence is real and the only way it goes away is through Jesus. I mean, he just sends it away and he fights. And 
when it's there, I know he's still fighting. Like yesterday, I know he was fighting for me, keeping it at bay. Um, but some days he just dismisses it. And today is a day like that, which is why right now I'm in my car driving up to um, Surrey, which is a beach that I go to up here along the James River. And there's a, there's a retreat center um, up here. And, and years ago, I, I went up here and asked him if I could just walk the beach and uh, use it kind of as a place of Sabbath getaway. And so uh, I've been going up here for years um, looking for shark's teeth because that's what I like to do. Uh, and just the fact that I can come and get in my car and drive uh, away from Tina, get this far away from Tina, because when I feel like this, I, when I feel bad, I, I want to be like within an arm's distance of her. So this is kind of a declaration that, that this is a good day. And uh, so I wanted to record that and say thank, thank you, Jesus, for dismissing the dread today and pushing it away and, and telling it it doesn't have a place here. So this is my testimony. Uh, the other thing is I need to add that tomorrow is 